The views in this review are my opinions. Views we did not sponsor this review. And this box is a product that I've had my eye on for almost a year now. Here it is. The Usui Flow 25 in black and red. If you are not familiar with Usui, they are a Swedish company whose team grew up riding off-road vehicles. If backpacks were cars, I would say that Usui produces the Ferrari of backpacks both in quality and cost. Let's take a closer look at my favorite and not-so-favorite features of this backpack. First, for me. I needed a bag that was not only large, but also had a lot of compartments to contain a wide array of devices, tools and supplies for both long and short rides. The Usui Flow 25 absolutely exceeds all expectations in this category. There are numerous, well-thought-out compartments. They are easily accessible. They placed well to keep the bag balanced nicely. I'm easily and comfortably able to fit my usual 10 pounds of gear and still have a lot more room for an additional 10 pounds for an extended length ride if needed. Some of my favorite compartments are this top-level space for delicate items like eyeglasses to prevent scratches. It even has an attached glass cleaning cloth. Although I haven't used it yet, I recently discovered this rain cover bag and compartment on the bottom of the backpack. It can be used to cover the entire backpack if you're in rainy conditions. Or, you can use the bag to put some wet clothes in before placing them inside your backpack. I also love this stretchy compartment on the front of the bag. It can fit my entire helmet in here for easy carrying. Then there are these side compartments that are fixed to the waist harness straps. These side compartments were one of the primary reasons I chose this bag. Unfortunately, when the bag arrived I learned that my iPhone 13 Pro Max is too large to fit in this compartment. If you want a separate outside compartment for your phone, you'll need to purchase the Usui phone attachment, which I did, and I will discuss that more in a minute. The next major feature of this bag that I love is the patented bounce-free No Dancing Monkey 2.0 Snug Me Harness System. According to Usui, the elastic straps expand along with a chest during physical exertion, allowing a constant tight and comfortable fit. All fluff aside, I must tell you that this is the best harness strap design I've ever felt on any backpack. The way these straps fit around my chest is exceptional. Once adjusted properly, the bag barely moves around. This harness also helps distribute the weight of the bag and contents nice and evenly. This bag has literally taken a load off my lower back. These shoulder straps are also what helps make the SnugMe 2.0 harness work so well. On each of these straps there were also quick-click attachment points for modular front pocket solutions. It is here that the cell phone compartment accessory I purchased separately is attached. Although Usui calls this a quick-click attachment, I found attaching an accessory to be not so quick. You have to bend and try to slide all four of these little connectors into these tiny slots to get it to lock in place. The connectors are super small, which make them hard to see without my glasses. Let's next talk about a feature that Usui calls a C-certified full-back SAST C-protector LEV1. According to Usui it is designed to protect and stay put on your back in high-speed action. The protector is a hard foam plate that is inserted between your bag and your back. This insert is heavy. It weighs more than half a pound. Although I don't do a lot of high-speed riding, I don't know what it is protecting your back from or why this is listed as the primary feature of this bag on the Usui website. Maybe if you are doing a backflip and you land on your back, this protector will keep the contents of the bag from hitting your back. So I decided to contact Usui for an explanation of how this protects your back. Basically, they stated that there was high demand for back protection from their sponsored athletes. They also stated that I probably don't need the back protector and should remove it. Now here are some other details about this bag. This bag is expensive. It's probably the most expensive backpack on the market right now. Currently it's listed for $229 on the Usui website. I ordered it from the Usui website using a 15% off promo code and that brought the price to about $161 including shipping. I've put links to the Usui website in the video description if you would like to find out more about this bag. This brings me to the next add-on accessory which is the action camera mount. I normally wear the Stuntman Pro Action Camera Harness System. The Usui action camera mount accessory clips onto one of the side straps which I've shown is not that easy to connect. It then uses a velcro loop to go under and around the strap on the opposite side. It's difficult and time-consuming to attach and reattach. It's totally impractical if you need to take your bag on and off a lot like I do when riding. For most users who don't take their backpacks off frequently, I would believe this mount would be okay though. For me, I return this mount and still wear my stuntman harness under my backpack straps with no issues. Another important thing to point out about this backpack is that it does not come with a water bladder. Usui does sell a 3-liter bladder for $40. This wasn't a deal breaker for me because I prefer to use a water bottle mount on my bike and I will carry a secondary container inside of my bag if needed. Finally, there is one aesthetic design flaw about this bag that I strongly dislike. On the bag color I chose which is black and red, there are these white straps on the sides and bottom of the bag. In my opinion, this is one of the most impractical colors that you should ever put on a backpack that is used outdoors, especially one that it used for mountain biking or motocross. 
but in my first couple of desert rides the straps were already discolored from all the sand and dirt. It's super unfortunate that such a poor color choice was used for a bag that is this well designed. These straps should be black, not white. It's a no-brainer. Be that as it may, overall, I can't say enough good things about this bag. It was expensive, but the quality of the bag and design makes me feel like it was worth it so far. Thank you for watching my review on the Use We Flow 25 backpack. Please check the description for important links and other information. If you have any questions about this bag, please feel free to ask them in the video comments.